What's going on, guys? Good to be back. Woo! Alright, 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 alright. Now I got a serious question for you guys. I, I know I've been gone for a long time and I'm sorry about that, but let's get straight to work. Do you guys have a survivor mentality or a victim mentality? It's a good question, right? Alright, let's break it down. Here we go. A victim mentality. Alright. Here, here's essentially what a victim mentality is. Someone who blames other people for their misfortunes. Now, you, you're going to have to look at yourself right away here. Do you blame other people for your misfortunes? Do you blame other people first? Okay, I know some people, you know, they, they sit back and they're like, hmm, hmm, I don't know. Alright? This is serious. This is dead serious. Do you blame you? Do you blame yourself? And if not, you just might have a victim mentality. I have a family member that I actually got into an argument with recently. Uh, no, no really longer a family member. My family's more or less, you know, mixed, match, and pieces type of family, not like blood family anymore. But um, got into an argument with them. And I started calling them out on their own bull. I'm not gonna say a word, sorry. I know I've been swearing in my previous videos and I'm really gonna stop stop because I would love to speak for somebody someday. Uh, at school again, uh, like I did Egan High School for one of the classes. But, um, yeah, family member started calling them out on their bull. I was like, you know what, I, I don't, you know, just going off on them. Then they redirected it back at me when I was calling them on their bull. And then they started blaming everybody else. Well, well, my dad this, uh, uh, my, my, my uncle this, my, my uh, I don't give a... Okay? Okay? Wait, that, that's es essentially the definition of a victim mentality. When you deny anything of your wrongdoing, anything at all, okay? It, it's essentially a mindset. Sorry, I gotta check my notes here. It, it's essentially a mindset. You, you go through life with the same type of mindset, day in, and day out, day in, day out, day in, day out. All right, so get this, get this, guys. I, I would be like, you know what? I'm sick of this. I want to leave. I was younger. I actually lived with this family member. A lot of you might not actually know who I'm talking about, but some of you might. All right. So I was living with this family member, and I was like, all right, I want out this type of dealio. He goes, what? You just going to leave me like everyone else? What? Seriously? You want to say everyone else? So you're gonna equate me back to that person, and that person, and that person. And they always said that while growing up, and it got annoying, okay? It got freaking annoying, and I got fed up with it. Yeah, I'm gonna leave like everyone else, because you always ask me if I'm going to leave like everyone else. It is a freaking mindset. It's what you do day in, day out, day in, day out. This person expected me to leave. They literally said it into fruition. You spoke it into fruition. It's what Les Brown always talks about. You guys ever hear Les Brown? He always said, don't speak things into fruition because that's what you might have happen. And he did it day in and day out, day in and day out. And I promise you, this person is going to have more people leave because he's still doing it to this day. Now, do you have a victim mentality? Because that is essentially the definition of it right there. Okay, now let's take a little bit more of a swing back to survivor mentality. Survivor mentality is when you essentially came from a type of victim mentality. But you just now realize, okay, I, I deserve some of that blame, okay? When I was 15 years old, I tried killing myself. That's on me. I regret it every day of the week. I used to cut myself, and I know that's very unfamiliar with a guy who tried to do that, but I have over 55 cuts in my body, and I'll be straight up honest about that, okay? Straight up honest. But that's on me. I ain't going to sit there and go, well, because this person. Well, be, yeah, I have a main reason on why I did it, but that's not who I equate that to all the freaking time. That's on me. That is my issue, and I addressed it, okay? I used to be depressed all the time, okay? I, I realized that's all on me. I was talking to a friend yesterday. They came over, and they're like, well, I, I, don't, I, I, I don't see what I'm doing wrong. I'm like, well, are you happy? And they're like, no. And I'm like, well, do the opposite of what you're doing because it's obviously not working for you. And they're like, 
but I don't want to do the opposite. And I'm like, seriously? You've got to take responsibility for your life. This is your life. You got one of these. You are only 20 years old once, you're only 21 once, you're only 22 once, you're only 50 once, you're only 80 once. Take advantage of it. Every single day you have the opportunity to do the exact opposite of the things you're doing wrong. And most people are not doing it. I'd say 85% of the people. Now, people who wake up and they understand that they're doing wrong and they realize it's not working, they go and switch it up, okay? I'll use myself as an example. I'll use myself as an example. I know my life wasn't working. I don't like straight up working 60 to 80 hours a week. I was sick of it. So what did I do? I got two jobs that paid decent money, so I've got to work 60 hours a week, and I started picking up a book. Look at this. Look at this. Think and grow rich. you got to start reading and understanding what you want to be. I want to be a motivational speaker. I want to make money and I want to have an abundance of it so my kids never have to grow up in a trailer and never have to think, God, am I going to have electricity when I get back home? That's not what I want to be. I'm going to take responsibility right now and I'm going to change that so they don't got to worry like I did. Okay? Now that's on me. I'm not going to sit there and be like, well, you know, eh. That's the way I was brought up, so I'm going to make my kids suffer too. No, that's not how it's going to go. Now, you've got to take responsibility for your life. I've got a friend right now who lives over in Chicago, Illinois. Okay? They sit there, and they've done a fantastic job. I know you're going to be watching this. I, 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 I'm going to show you this. I'm going to have you watch this, okay? They're like, you know, Sebastian, I, I'm really depressed. Stuff's not going well. I feel like everything's falling apart. And I'm like, is everything falling apart? Or are you just focusing on the shit that's going wrong? That's essentially it. Okay, not everything is falling apart. If everything was falling apart, you'd have cancer, lupus, uh, abundance of issues, broke your leg, can't work, can't walk, etc. There's people with a lot more issues who are doing a lot more. There are single mothers out there right now working two jobs, raising their kids. I happen to just work with one of them. Okay, there are people out there making it happen, but there are people out there that are saying, oh, God, I got this school assignment and it feels like the whole world's going on. And I'm like, really? Really? We're bitching because we got a school assignment that's hard? Okay, I get you're a straight A student, but really? Now it's time to change your attitude Change your mentality. Say, I got the privilege to go to school. I got the privilege to wake up every morning and get a degree and do what I want to do in life. Because there are people every single day who drop out of high school because they don't know any better. And then when they get older, they realize what a death, messed up decision that was. And I know, I know how that goes. My own parent dropped out of high school. Okay, and my other ones, they never went to college. I can honestly say I went to a little bit of college and I'm going back to college because I'm not letting my kids go through what they did and I'm not going to let anybody else who's around me suffer what I had to go through and I'm not going to straight up blame it on that person. I know that's on them, but I'm going to take responsibility for it right now and I'm going to keep out and go live with my life, okay? Now I recommend you all do the same. Now. A lot of people with a victim mentality, to get back to this a little bit here, victim men mentality, people don't know how crucial the water is until the well is dry. And they think the well is never going to run out, okay? All the time. You know, this person would ask this person for money. Hey, can I have some money? Oh, sure. Okay, well, go spend it. Hey, 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 can I have some more money? Yeah, definitely, sure, sure. Can I have some more money? Where's my money? Oh, here's a little bit of money. Okay, cool, cool. All right, can I still have, oh, I gotta get that back to me. Okay, Thank you. The person left my life. Anyone? Anyone? No? Nobody wants to be around those types of people. Nobody wants to be around people with victim mentality. Nobody wants that. Okay, now that person who's like, oh my God, where's the money? You realize why people are leaving, right? It, it's pretty simple, it's pretty basic, okay? 
it, it, it's as simple as that. Now, I hope you all learned something here. Uh, please check back. I'm going to be making more of these videos. Okay. Now, what I want you to do, a little challenge for you. I want you to give every single day 120%. Never be satisfied. And I've got a little saying I'm going to start now. I'm going to get a tattoo right here. I've got never, never satisfied tattooed right here. I'm going to get one right here. 120 or nothing. You give 120% to every single day, everything you can possibly give, and I promise you, your life will change. It will. I promise you, as of tomorrow, your life will change. You know, everyone says, oh my God, my God, I wish I would have started that a year ago. No. Really? That seems pretty freaking obvious. Now, change tomorrow, start change, give 120%, or don't even try at all.